Welcome, my name is JC Bethelunas, and today I want to talk about something that's on the minds of many Australian high school graduates who just received their ATOS and are considering their options for university. If you're interested in tech and want to know about the differences between an undergraduate information technology, computer science, and software engineering degree, then this video is for you. I know how overwhelming and confusing it can be to choose a software degree. There are so many options out there, and it's hard to know which one is right for you. That's why I want to break down the differences between these three popular degrees and help you make an informed decision. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of the unique focus of each program and how it aligns with your interests and goals. There are two ways I recommend watching this video. If you just want to know the differences between each course, watch the following topics. IT overview, CS overview, software engineering overview, what to look out for in the degrees, advice, and conclusions. If you want to know the differences for each course and learn more about Monash University, then I recommend watching the whole video. As a third year Bachelor of Computer Science student at Monash University in Australia, I have a wealth of knowledge and experience to share. I initially studied IT for 1.5 years before transitioning to CS, and I even had the opportunity to switch into a double featuring SE and IT but ultimately declined. However, please keep in mind that the course subjects may vary from university to university, but the core teaching should be similar. Information technology. First, let's talk about information technology or IT. This degree focuses on the practical use of technology in organizations. As an IT student, you'll learn how to design, implement, and manage information systems that support business operations. You'll also learn how to troubleshoot and solve technical problems. Depending on your major, you might also learn about additional topics such as data analysis, games development, cybersecurity, or software creation. At Monash University, there are four majors within the IT degree, which take up eight units each. Business Information Systems, which teaches the fundamentals of business IT concepts, how to understand business information systems, and how IT can be used to tackle business needs. Cybersecurity, which focuses on the principles, practice, and management of security applications and networks used within an organization for their information needs. I'd also say that this is the hardest major out of the four due to the units. Games and Immersive Media is a more creative major focusing on game design, development, prototyping, 3D modeling, animation, virtual reality, sound design, and much more. Software development is a major that focuses on the construction of application software, from large-scale enterprise systems to web-based and mobile applications. In my opinion, this is software engineering light, as you don't learn about math, time complexity, space complexity, data structures and algorithms, which are essential for software development and engineering interviews. It is important to note that this degree consists of 24 units and typically takes three years to complete if you're taking a full course load. Computer Science. Next, let's discuss CS or Computer Science. This degree focuses on the fundamental principles of computing and the development of computer programs. As a CS student, you'll learn how to design algorithms, write code, and build software applications. You'll also study the theoretical foundations of computing from the history of computing to creating your own programming language. Depending on your major, you might also learn more about computer architecture and operating systems or data science. At Monash, there are two majors within the CS program, which take up six units each. Data science, which has a strong emphasis on probability, big data, and also a bit of AI and machine learning. Next, we have advanced CS, and it has a heavy emphasis on the study of programming paradigms, such as object-oriented programming and parallel computing. It's important to note, like IT, the CS degree also consists of 24 units and typically takes three years to complete if you're taking a full course load. There's also an additional degree option called the CS Honors Program, which has a strong emphasis on research, has a higher entry requirement, and will add an additional eight units or one year to your studies. Software Engineering. Finally, we have Software Engineering or SE. This major combines elements of both IT and CS with a focus on engineering principles of software development. Students in this degree learn how to design, develop, and test software systems to meet the needs of the users. You'll also learn more about computing from a lower level. This includes computer architecture and operating systems. They also learn about project management, quality assurance, and other aspects of software engineering. As a note, this degree is a major within the Bachelor of Engineering degree at Monash, which means that students are required to take one year of general engineering units. Therefore, this degree consists of 32 units and will take four years if undertaking a full load. Career Outcomes. 
Here are a list of tech roles that you can get out of studying any of the following degrees. For IT, you can become a software developer, engineer, a web developer, data business or technical analyst, maybe even a network manager, cloud architect, animator, project manager, IT consultant, security specialist, computer forensic investigator, penetration tester, game designer, etc. For CS, you can be a software developer, engineer, data scientist, data engineer, data business or technical analyst, database administrator, cloud engineer, IT consultant, security engineer, and project manager. For software engineering, you could become a software developer, engineer, architect, a data business or technical analyst, a network administrator, IT consultant, or project manager. In my opinion, studying any of these three courses will provide you with similar career prospects. The technical skills you gain from one will likely be transferable to your new tech career. Ultimately, the decision of which course to study may depend on your specific career goals and interests. It's worth noting that there may be some stereotypes about IT being looked down upon compared to CS or SE. However, in my experience, it's more about the projects you work on and what you do with the knowledge you gain from university that helps you land internships and roles rather than the degree itself. Things to look out for. If you're considering a university program, it's important to check if they offer any internship opportunities and have flexibility in their subject offering. Some universities like Monash may even have an industry-based learning internship program that is available to all the discussed degrees. This program allows students to gain hands-on technical experience, make industry connections, and develop their technical skills in a work environment. It's worth considering whether your university offers a program like this to help advance your tech career. If your university doesn't have an internship program, I will be making a video about the top tech internships, programs, and opportunities available to university students in Australia. Another option to consider is a double degree, which allows you to explore multiple fields in addition to tech. For example, many people choose to pursue a degree in business or commerce along with a software degree. Some unique double degrees include zoology and IT, criminology and IT, and law and CS. Alternatively, you can consider a single degree program and take the elective courses to test out different subjects. Subject overlap. In regard to content overlap, here is a Venn diagram showcasing all the first and second year core units for each of the degrees. If you're not sure which degree is right for you, my top tip is to choose the two that you have the most interest in and to try out the subjects which overlap. That way, if you decide to switch degrees, you won't lose any credits. We can see that all three degrees learn about databases. They also can potentially learn object-oriented implementation, but it will depend on the majors. And lastly, all of them can undertake the IBL 23-week internship program. However, not everyone gets into it. And if you don't, you will need to complete the two project units for your major. As you can see, there is a lot of overlap between IT and CS, particularly in the foundational first year units like introduction to programming, introduction to computer systems, networks and security, and IT professional practice. These units introduce you to programming languages like Python and Marie, as well as concepts like binary, networks, and socializing. But there are some key differences between the two degrees as well. In a CS degree, you'll have more emphasis on math and the theory behind computers with units like continuous mathematics and theory of computation. Meanwhile, the rest of the CS units like introduction to computer science, discrete math, and data structures and algorithms has an overlap with the software engineering course and it focuses on building your programming skills and understanding of math for programming. In the SE degree, you are also required to complete up to eight engineering units in your first year, as well as two specialized software engineering units like software engineering, software engineering process and management, and software quality and testing. And lastly, if you choose to pursue a cybersecurity major within IT, you'll also have the opportunity to take the operating systems unit which is a core for software engineering. Personal experience. If you're considering a technology related degree, it's important to think about your goals and what you hope to achieve during your studies. In my case, I didn't do too well on my ATAR and was only able to get into the IT program, even though my first preference was CS honors. However, I was able to do an internal transfer after earning higher grades and switch from IT and arts to CS. And I've enjoyed learning about data and machine learning through my major in data science. I didn't choose to do the honors program as I'm not that interested in research and the units that they have to offer. I also considered switching into software engineering, but ultimately decided against it because it would have meant starting over 
and delaying my graduation. However, if software engineering is really what I want to do, I can always consider completing a master's degree in it. Looking back, I think I would have been better off starting with software engineering in the first place. The program teaches similar concepts to CS, but with less theory and more emphasis on programming projects. It also provides the opportunity to try out different engineering disciplines through the compulsory first year units. Additionally, I found the engineering teams at my university to be more interesting than the IT clubs, and I think studying software engineering would have given me more exposure to them. I would also recommend studying in Sydney as there are more internship opportunities compared to Melbourne. Overall, my main goals for university were to gain technical skills, build projects, and socialize with other students. And I think SE would have helped me achieve those goals more effectively than IT. Advice. Now you might be wondering, which one is right for me? Well, it really depends on your interests and career goals. If you enjoy working with business systems, solving technical problems, and no math requirement, then IT might be a good fit for you. If you're interested in theoretical foundations of computing and writing code, then CS might be the right choice. And if you want to combine both technical and business skills to build software systems, then software engineering might be the way for you. I would also recommend reaching out to members within the various university coding clubs and societies via their Discord servers. Here are some popular Australian ones, and I'll leave the links in the description below. For Monash University, join the IT at Monash server, or my club's server, Monash Association of Coding. For Melbourne University, join CISA's Discord server. For RMIT, join CSIT. For UNSW, join CSESOC. Also check out their YouTube videos, they're quite good. For UCID, join SYNCS. For the University of Technology Sydney or UTS, join TechSol. For the University of Queensland or UQ, join UQCS. For the University of Adelaide, join their CS club. For the Australian National University, join CSSA. Conclusion. Ultimately, all three of these degrees can lead to rewarding and exciting careers in tech. So if you're passionate about technology and want to make a difference in the world, consider pursuing a degree in IT, CS, or software engineering. IT, CS, or SE. If you like what you've watched, consider subscribing as I hope to make more helpful and relatable tech career-focused videos like this one during 2023. Thanks for watching.